what's good, Baywood here, and I'm with Joey Holly right here, and we're gonna be recording and mixing some vocals. And I, and I just drove out two and a half hours because I got so excited with this new recording update that I believe is the future of recording music, so let's get right into it. We got a blank FL Studio project right here. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have our input and output in our settings, so you go to Options, Audio Settings. And since I am screen recording, I have it on an FL Studio ASIO, but you're gonna wanna have it on your audio interface. The next thing we gotta do is bring in the beat so we can start recording. We're gonna open up our files. I downloaded a beat that I made. And then right here, this is a little zooming tool. You can zoom out. You could hit spacebar, but it's not gonna play anything. But you have to put your play header right here. Ah, uh, so okay. That will set where it's gonna start. We want to find the key in BPM. The BPM is very important to set and get this right because when you do beat chops or add delay, you want that to be on time. And FL Studio has such an easy way to do this. I left click on this all the way on the left of this audio and you're gonna hit edit sample. So then you're just gonna hit on this title, the title of the beat right here, right click. And then right here you see tempo and you're gonna auto detect and then do hit detection for songs with constant tempo. Wow. So 135 BPM, okay? That's crazy. This is the future, it's I'm ridiculous. telling you. So next we wanna find the key of the beat so we know what to set your auto tune. Go to sampler right here and you're gonna hit auto detect and see how it changed to E? So we know it's E major or E minor. So we'll try yeah. E major. And then you just exit these out. And what we're gonna do is set the BPM right here. And we're gonna go to 135. And you see how it was moving on the screen? Yeah. It just lined up. So if I go here. The next thing we want to do is be able to easily turn the beat down, right? So we're gonna have to send that to a mixer track. So all we do, right click on this track right here, go to track mode and assign it, we'll give it to insert two. So now we can hit this mixer track right here, make it bigger. So what I like about this is your mixing track, wherever you're doing your mixing and mastering, is all detached from your audio. So it's easy to bring this up. We have our beat right here on insert two. Let's just rename that to beat, accept, enter. Now, if we wanna lower the volume of our beat, we just move this volume fader. The next thing we wanna do is set up your recording track for your vocals. Great. So we're gonna click on this track too, right? We're just gonna right click, give it a track. We're gonna assign it to insert one. And we're gonna rename this to record here. Just give it a nice little color, hit enter. And now the most important thing in the new update with FL that they made it so much easier to record vocals is these three buttons right here. So this first one is how you're gonna connect it to your microphone. We're using a Focusrite Solo with a Bluebird SL mic, and we have the Bluebird plugged into input one on the Scarlett. So we're going to set this to input one, okay? We'll turn that off for now, but then the next thing is the recording settings. And you wanna have this on external input only. That means even if you have plugins or an auto-tune on this recording track, if we had plugins right here, that's when you record, it's not going to print those effects on it. And you don't want to print your effects because you may want to change the auto-tune later, but you're not going to use that at all, so don't even worry about it. So just have an external input, and then monitor external input when armed. This will make sure that when you click this, this is arming the track to record on this direct track, and you're going to be able to hear yourself. I think it's good to hear yourself when you're recording, but you can also turn that off so you don't hear yourself if you still want to record on that track. Only when armed, I like it, because then you know that you're arming the track. Now, how do you arm FL Studio to record? So all you do is hit this red button up here, okay? And that uh, so arms. This is arming it as a whole. Like, That's too. arming it as a whole. Now, it's time to start recording. So we're gonna bring this playhead to the start of the track. I'm gonna arm the track. I got FL Studio armed. I'm gonna give you the mic. We recording right now? We getting it? Yeah. Why are you making me wonder? Why are you making me think? Cause I did you right, but you had to blunder. You call your problems mistakes. Just take my advice, you're getting no younger. No longer I'm calling your name. And you were my lightning, I was your thunder. You said everything in my face. Nah, nah, just do what I want. Steady, I'm getting the cash. Step up, love. Now I make two in a month. Just focus on getting the bag. It's still on my ass. Yeah, I got two in the front. And I got four in the back. I do that. Well, I got room in the trunk. Can I throw row in the back? Hey. Now I just want you to record the hook a few times and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. I'm just going to move the play header right over here and 
I'm not gonna do anything, and you're gonna see that it will automatically create a new recording track. Okay, okay so you see how it recorded on yeah, different tracks? Yeah, so essentially, you could never accidentally record over your good take you know yep. that's, that's something i do with ableton because i'll forget to arm the right track and i'll just record right over my stuff yeah. obviously you can fix it but it's annoying yep so that's that's really cool wow now what we want to do is make it sound professional exactly. so that's the mixing process since this is our recording track let's think of that you know only for recording now let's drag audio down to a new track and let's just call it mixing track. Give it a nice little color, enter. Now let's say this third one you did, you liked better than that first half. Now you can get rid of this, drag it right down. And when you're not recording, make sure you just disarm the recording. Okay. So we want to send this to a track, okay, a mixer track. We're gonna send it to three. Now on this is exactly where we're going to put presets to mix um, ah. the vocal. You can put them directly on the recording track. Uh, I just like to kind of keep it separate. So yeah, you know. well, it's, a, it's nice for organization. So we're just going to install some presets really quickly. So all you do is type in, open up mixer presets folder, double click that. We're going to go to melodic sauce for FL Studio and we're going to drag melodic sauce right in there and it installs the presets. That's as all you quick have to do. That. Yep. So when you install FL Studio, it creates that mixer presets file on your computer. Yep. And you simply just, wow. That's so great. watch, mixer presets, melodic sauce right there. Dang. We're going to open up this folder and we're just going to drag a preset right on this mixer track. Wow. So you see, it just loaded up all the plugins right here. I have them nice and color coded. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna just right click here and it loops this section. So it'll keep going from mm -hmm. this hook. And we can easily use these knobs to control the dry wet knobs to turn them down. So I wanna get less reverb, so. We got a nice preset. Let's set up the auto tune. So we open up picture. Remember I said E major. So we're gonna change this E major. We're gonna put it all the way fast. Sounds about right, but now it's a little bit too much, so we just yeah. slow the speed down. So next we want to make it sound loud and proud on all systems. Absolutely. So that is the process called mastering. So we're gonna click on our master track right here, and then we're gonna open up a master chain pack, and let's just drag a master chain right on the master. So you wanna focus on opening That's the nice. limiter, making a ceiling of negative 0.1, and then all you're gonna do is turn this gain down. I think it's a little bit too loud, so we're gonna just turn this gain down while it's playing. So let me show you the best exporting settings. So we're gonna zoom out of the song so we can see. Let's pretend you know we recorded the whole track, so we wanna loop the whole thing, right? And now we go to File, and we're gonna go to Export, and you're gonna do upload to cloud, okay? So you're gonna be able to click on WAV file, do 24-bit stereo, and then also you can upload to cloud visible to only me. SoundCloud. Yeah, you can upload to SoundCloud. Oh. You know, I would do it privately, and then you're easily able to send that link to friends and family, like, hey, what do you think about this song? I'm thinking about dropping it, or should I finish this track? It's a lot easier than sending an MP3 file or WAV file to your friends and family. It's much easier to upload to SoundCloud privately and then share that private link with people. Now I'm in the habit of just doing both. So I got the WAV file. If you only want to do one at a time, if you don't want to export the WAV file, unclick it and then just do only to upload to cloud. But I like doing both and you're going to want to connect your SoundCloud account super easy and then make sure the format's WAV file to SoundCloud so you can have the highest quality. And then you just hit start and you're done. That is how you record, mix and master in FL Studio. And if you're interested in getting a recording and mixing template in FL Studio, you can download it below. And we have a bunch of 
presets and mastering chains for FL Studio if you're interested. Grab it all down below or go on baywoodaudio.com. And if you're interested in more FL Studio videos, smash that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And we'll see you guys next time. Don't know what to say when it seems that you're